started my career in the public sector, um, working at both the municipal and federal levels of government, um, before moving into the private sector and consulting engineering. Um, I was very fortunate in that in both of those ventures, I was given the opportunity to work with uh, Indigenous communities on various projects, some water related, some not. Um, and I found that uh, working on those projects required perhaps something more out of me as an engineer. Um, just the approach needed to see those projects through successfully was a bit different than kind of the traditional things that I was involved with at the time. And I found that I actually really liked that challenge. Uh, it, it required me to improve my communication skills and really get to know I suppose my client or the end user of um, you know the impact I was hoping to have with whatever piece of engineering I was doing. Um, I think when I started my undergraduate studies I, I really had no idea what I wanted to do but um, like I said I had a strong and a keen interest in environmental issues and so I was just kind of naturally drawn into courses and work experience that um, had strong elements of environmental and field-based work associated with it. Um, eventually that kind of led me into civil engineering. I started doing a lot more courses in environmental and some drinking water um, uh, kind of coursework and then eventually just decided I was going to try and direct my career coming out of school towards water or environmental engineering. Uh, it was still very vague at that point though.